Hey gang, it's Ross again with Trainwise Fitness and Running. Today I'm coming at you with a review of Superfeet Red Hots. Check them out. Okay everybody, thanks for checking out this review today of the Superfeet Red Hots insoles. Uh, this is a little bit different review for me when I was asked to do this. I've uh, never quite reviewed insoles, never really tried insoles. Uh, typically I'm okay with the uh, insoles that are already in my shoes. But I said, hey, uh, what the heck, it's cold outside, I'm running, uh, it's 19, 20, 22 degrees, and yes, you know, despite everything, my feet do get all numb with the cold, so I figured I'd give these a shot. Uh, these are designed for colder weather, uh, designed really to kind of help, you know, keep your feet warm and toasty while you're out there running. Alright, so um, what I've discovered with these Red Hots is this is essentially a super feet orange. Uh, it's just added with a couple of different, has just a couple differences with it, okay? It's got this nice foil backing here that's designed to kind of deflect cold from inside the shoe. Also, this main layer here you see right above this heel cup and this stabilizer cup here, that is a thermal layer. Uh, it's an open air designed to really trap some air in there. Between that and the thermal, uh, this foil here, it helps to keep your feet a little bit warmer. Uh, just under that foil, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but you can see it's kind of sandwiched with three layers. That third layer, there, that layer closest to the foil there is a high impact layer just to kind of help soften the impact of your feet. Okay. Uh, originally these were designed uh, by Superfeet uh, with skiers in mind. That's when they really started designing uh, custom insoles. Uh, and this is kind of the evolution of that. Help keep the feet warm. Uh, now they've adapted the, all these for shoes and you can uh, just slip these right on in. Uh, it's a pretty easy system to use. Uh, the way I did this is taking my old insoles out. You know, those insoles just come on out. And we'll just take a look at a typical insole here and let you see what it looks like, all right? These happen to come out of a pair of Pearl Azumi N2s that I'm running in right now. Um, but you can look at this insole and we'll compare it to the Superfeet here. This too has a really nice deep heel cup, but one of the things that I notice not a lot of space between my fingers here. When I get in here, not a lot of cushion. It may look like there's a lot of cushion because it's got this nice deep rim, uh, but that's really just to kind of help hold your heel in place and stabilize you. But this is again pretty flat. It does have a little bit of support here in the arch. Uh, not entirely bad insole because you do kind of hit the cushion of the shoe, but really nothing there to support the heel. These super feet, if you notice, when we come off, they too have a nice deep heel cup, but you've got a you know a little bit of depth in there and padding in there. Of course, you've got this stabilizing cup here, really to help provide some support and shape to this. Uh, not that's one of the things I was kind of concerned about when I started running in them uh, that I wasn't going to like this hard surface. I did find that uh, it was not at all uncomfortable. I still have yet to put this out on anything longer than about four miles, uh, and that's just me. I, you know, I've got other shoes that go out there a little bit further than that, and I've got a different insole in those. Um, they were designed for longer distances, so I just kind of kept with that ma more maximum cushioning. Um, I'll probably get these out there that far. I just said sometimes I'm so paranoid to mess with my feet, uh, being just me. But this is a really simple system to put in here. So the way this works, I've, I had to go, I went out and purchased another second pair for this review. I've got some in the shoes to test. Um, this is one that I've already cut. This is one that has yet to be cut, so you can see where it's marked, and we'll show you how to mark those so that you can use this uh, system or check this out for yourself. It's actually a really simple system. You just pull out your insole, and you take the old insole, and you place it on top of your super feet insole. All right, once you get it, once you get the edges lined up, all you're gonna do then is take a magic marker or a pen, and you're gonna trace them on this. These super feet that I have here, I wear a size 10. These were set up to go from a nine and a half to an 11. So they'll fit, probably fit right on into an 11 shoe. Uh, don't go ahead, they do not fit into my size 10s. I did have to trim them down. You can see there's a little bit difference in size here. But it's really simple. Like I said, you just overlay it, trace it. Once you get on that trace portion, these cut real easy with a pair of scissors. I'm just gonna demonstrate this real now. I found that when cutting these, it helps just to make a good even cut with the back of the scissor. You maintain proper, you can maintain proper shape of the footwear. 
all right and just kind of, I kind of cut right along the edge of that line try not to go too far into the line because if I need to adjust I still have some room to adjust but if I cut it too short uh, you don't have any room to go back and add okay so once that's cut you can see it lines up pretty well with that old insole there once that's done just open it on up slip it right on into your shoe and bang you're in there so like I said real easy to install real easy to cut and go through comes with a nice antimicrobial coating on it kind of helps with some odor control has this nice deep supportive heel cut back in here offers some nice arch support again the foil backing helps keep the cold out and the uh, the thermal air air foam here traps that heat in there really helps keep your feet warm I've run with these uh, I think the lowest temperature it got to while I had a chance to run with these uh, in the colder weather was 19 20 degrees early morning um, so really did help my feet did not go quite as numb as they have in the past when I've run at 20 25 30 degrees uh, temperatures and just uh, wool socks and the regular insoles that came with these shoes um, but I have enjoyed these uh, again like I said I thought that I was not gonna like them because of the stabilizing cup really there's not that much of a problem uh, it's something when I started looking into it a little bit more it was like uh, you also have a stabilizing cup on the greens oranges everything seems to have one of these um, but really a nice product overall uh, I'm not an orthotist so if you really needed something you know a little bit more prescribed uh, you'd always have that fit to you but as far as something that you can just pick up and purchase uh, slip in your shoe and try out uh, a really, really really great product here uh, people really find these uh, working well for them in the longer distance runs, shorter distance runs, uh, especially just kind of adapting those shoe, shoe insoles to your feet. One of the other things you'll notice is this is just a flat insole. Inside of your shoe is going to be completely flat. This provides a little bit of a support of the arch so that you kind of keep that nice, nice support of the arch of your foot while you're moving and running. Again, this is not something that everybody needs. But if you find yourself having trouble with your feet or not quite as comfortable, uh, you may want to grab a pair of green. All right, guys, thanks for checking us out today. Again, we're, lo we're looking at the Superfeet Red Hots. Hope you found this something informative that you can go ahead and put to use. Hope you found the instructions on how to trim those down, something else as well that you like. Uh, give you a little bit more confidence when you go to do that yourself. Again, really like this product overall. Uh, something great to check out. Really helped keep my feet a little bit warmer in the colder runs that I've been in. Uh, so on that end it does great as far as being uh, a relief of foot ankle and knee pain as some of the uh, websites or reviews claim I can't really state anything there I don't have any of those pains to begin with but if you do maybe something you want to check out try it out maybe start with a pair of greens that's their standard again uh, stick those in give them a shot and I hope guys that I'll be seeing you out in some of the race courses this year and with TrainWise Fitness and Running I'm Ross Wise, and remember to run faster, run stronger, and run wise.